we too are mourners. Together we all mourn. And that is a great, great comfort to them. And it is a great comfort to us. Families, Frankel, Shar, Yifrach, we mourn with you. We mourn for Naftali. We mourn for Gilad. We mourn for Eyal. And we mourn for Zion and Jerusalem. Next Tuesday on Tisha B'Av, we will remind ourselves that the struggle is far from over. Even as we sit and pray for the reinstatement of our temples, our brethren in Israel and the holy soldiers in Gaza and beyond find themselves in the crosshairs of evil beasts. Beasts who would delight not just in the death of every Jew and in the destruction of Israel, but also in the death of the dream and the message of Zion and Jerusalem. Friends, I don't want to end on such a sour note. So please let me add one more thing. Our greatest monarch, the extraordinary King David, David HaMelech, wrote as follows in Tehillim. It's in chapter 30, towards the end. And we say it every morning in our tefillah in Shacharit. Hafachta mispedi l'macholi, pitachta saki v'ta'azreni simcha. You turned my mourning into dancing. You removed my sackcloth and clothed me with joy. My friends, even as we mourn Naftali, Gilad, and Eyal, we must acknowledge the extraordinary unity that has resulted from them having been taken from us. This unity has continued these past weeks, and long may it continue. So even as we mourn, let us dance with joy. They, the three boys, they are surely dancing as they watch us old and young, religious and secular, every denomination, every age, right and left, coming together as one united group of Jews to remember them and to dedicate ourselves to the future of Judaism and to the con continuity and to the safety of Jewish life. My friends, we will continue. We will prevail. And as a united force, we are invincible. My friends, may their memory be a blessing. And may God bless us and all of Israel. Amen. Thank you, Rabbi Dunner. About four weeks ago, just after the burial took place in, in Israel, we saw something in Los Angeles that I must tell you in my 30 plus years here I've never seen. Some 1,500 people came to Beth Jacob to express feelings of the soul. Rabbi Top, spiritual leader of Beth Jacob, is with us today to share a parach of Tehillim, a psalm, which is what part of what we do on a time of Shloshim. At this time, I'd like to welcome the senior rabbi of Beth Jacob, Rabbi Kalman Top. Thank you, Daryl. Good evening to everyone. I'm going to first recite the entire psalm in Hebrew, and then I will follow it by saying it in English. We're saying Psalm 121. I believe the sheets and a copy of the perech of the chapter was given out to those who were when you were entering. And I encourage you.